Hey guys, Spark here, and today I'm going to be doing a Call of Duty commentary, so I have another question that I'm going to answer and hopefully help someone out by answering it, or a few people, depends on if they need the help. And yeah, there are two small topics that I'll be talking about first, so let's get into the commentary. So first little topic is that tomorrow the 1.5k sub special montage will be uploaded, and it's also going to be my 200th video on YouTube. The montage is long as it is a special video, it is going to be about 8 minutes and 30 seconds long. So I've tried to make the montage as good as I can, as I made it myself, so I just hope everyone will like it and won't expect too much as I can't really edit. So when it's up just leave your feedback in the comments so I know how I did, as I like getting feedback as it makes me improve on what I do. So the next little topic is that a couple days back. I have changed to the new channel layout as it automatically switched me over so I have made new graphics made by myself so it would show up on everything you can view YouTube on so a PC, laptop, tablets, phones, TVs I think only the smart TVs has it though I'm not too sure and to be honest I'm not sure about the gaming consoles because I think it's just like you view the video not go on their channel but I don't know but yeah, I have also put everything into playlists, so when you go to my channel, you will see that the series that I'm doing at the moment as they are in the playlist on the homepage of the channel. Okay, so today was the little topics, um, so let's move on to the main topic of this video now. So a couple of days back, I got a message, well not a message, like a comment on one of my videos, and it was a question saying, what are your tips for getting diamond assault rifles? And I'm going to be answering that now, so the best way I find getting gold on on the assault rifles, as that's pretty much what you have to do to get diamond. Um, it is aimed at the assault rifles, as he asked me about the assault rifles and not all guns. So the first step is to learn the gun. So what I mean about that is not worry about the challenges that you need for the camos. Just go for the max level and the max prestige. Well, actually using the gun for that long, you would learn what's the best attachments that you would like and just adapt to how the weapon works, so with its damage and recoil. And if aiming for headshots, it will take you longer to do the challenges needed, as you would need to aim and try and get that headshot, as if you're just playing with that gun, you would just get the odd headshots. Plus, while playing normal, and keeping stable stores instead of just doing bad while aiming for headshots. I feel that you should just play normal and the headshots will just come as you play. So basically once you learn how the weapon works, now you could just use the gun with the best attachments that you found works well on it. Then because you've learned how the recoil works on the gun, you would know where to actually aim. So if the weapon climbs just a little bit, just aim at their upper chest and the recoil will just hit their head so you get that headshot. And if it has a lot of recoil, just aim at their like general chest area and it should actually climb up to get headshot as well. So you could get a few headshots like that while just playing normal as well, aiming on their chest and just get them headshots. So now once you get the 100 headshots challenge done, you want to now aim for the 150 kills with no attachments and perks. Now if you want it to be faster you could do these at the same time, that's what I do, by just putting no attachments on your gun and no perks, but if you are finding yourself playing bad, you can actually do these separate. It will take more time, but you would have the help of at least just attachments on your gun while aiming for no perk kills, or just perks with your gun while aiming for no attachment kills, so it would just be generally easier to actually play and and keep your scores stable. Now by doing them first, you should have done the 10 long shots and the 20 double kills. So now all you need is 10 bloodthirsties. Now you would get a few by doing the 150 kills with no attachments and perks and maybe done the bloodthirsties already so you would have gold. But if not then you would only need about around 5 or less to do basically. But because it's the only challenge left, you want to make your class, so with attachments and perks and whatever else you use, 
and just get them bloodthirsties. When aiming for bloodthirsties you want to play slower as we are talking about the assault rifles and with assault rifles they are meant to be played slower and not rush around like an SMG rusher. So you would basically move in a sense of using cover a lot and advance them to their spawn or to the objective and just hold it off. Um, with their objectives you just want to get in there, hold it off and lock it down basically and just shoot out of it and you should kill all of the runners running to it which could help you get to your basically camo. So yeah, that's pretty much all the tips I could give on to the assault rifle on aiming for gold on the gun and the diamond assault rifles of course. So I hoped it helped with people that are aiming for the diamond on assault rifles. Now if you want me to do one of these tips for each of the classes, so the others would be SMGs, LMGs, snipers, shotties and even specials and secondaries. I am willing to do them, just let me know in the comments below and I'll pull it into one of these commentaries with just a few of the topics maybe if I need to talk about something. So yeah that's everything for this video, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, assault rifle tips. Also the special montage will be uploaded tomorrow so make sure you check it out and as always I'll speak to you in my next video, PS, after the montage of course. <laughs> See you later.